Well, I must say, another large day here in the big land. Today, me and William is out. He's not in school today. We're going to get some schooling out on the land. <laughs> We're going for a little hunt in the boil up. And uh, just stop right here. I'm going to show us some, some moose tracks here on the, on the road. My buddy Tyler got a moose license for this area. You can see, let me see what moose it was walking that way. So he walked down so far and went into the woods there. All right, there's a partridge over there. Remember the, the peep sight is missing from the gun, so yeah, it's really hard to aim like that, but we'll give her a go. You got nothing? Oh. Yes, I did. I did. <laughs> yeah, just right here somewhere. Oh, he's dead. He's down. He's down. You got him. Look at that beautiful part reach. Yeah. That's a hen part reach there. See brown there? We call that a hen. I'm gonna show you now. Look at that. Let me see. <laughs> there we go. Now I'm gonna show you something here. Now I'm gonna hold the you wanna hold the camera a little bit. Yeah. So what? What I like to do? I like to take the wings. You let his head go. This head go. This head fall down a lot, and you fold the wings over like that. And then I go. <laughs> now you hold on to it like that. In one hand and. Yeah, pick some feathers off. Now, yeah, not too many, too, just a few two time. I'll show you like them call that. Two was picking together. Now, huh? me, me grabs too many two time. You might hear the skin underneath, so I'll just grab a couple of two two like that, and you'll get better over it over time. Ah, oh, It's gonna be some some nice roasted up. Yep. Well, let me, I'll hold on to it and you pick it. Hello. Look at that. See? Come on. <laughs> you pick up so much and then I'll pick out some because then we'll go and see if we get another one uh, to go along with this one, huh? Yeah. See where it got shot? Yeah. That's all right. That's good. Wicked shot, buddy. Wicked shot. Yeah. Even with the sight missing. <laughs> and see, there's up around the crop area, what he calls. That's where he stores his food and goes sack in there. And there's usually, you gotta be a little more careful there. But once he gets past down a little bit, the crop, you can actually grab a little few more feathers to a time. Yeah. I never heard when he actually stopped flying. So he might have went beyond this. So it's gonna be a tough one. But we'll just circle around these little woods here. And, and even though he flew in, we didn't find that one, we might find a different one. That happens lots of times when you're hunting like this too. Yeah, sometimes you know they'll pitch up high in the tree, and but they're pretty camouflage, so they're hard to see sometimes. Especially, I couldn't exactly tell how far he went. One more little look, I'm not gonna give up too easy. Over that's real, real old porcupine cutting way up there. Real old sign. What do you think? Go look for another one? Yeah. yeah. Sometimes, you know, it's just hunting way hunting is. If you kill them all, see, buddy, there'd be nothing left for another day, you know. Come across some clam shells. And these look very interesting to me because it's possible. It looks kind of big, but they could be floaters. And look, ah, right down there must be an otter. Bring them up and, and feed now, right? Because uh, you see where he comes up there, the shills from pretty much this stump of this big uh, juniper tree right here, right on down to the water's edge. An otter gets the clams, and he comes in here, I suppose, and feeds down, right?
perfect. Oh. Yeah. These ones are the fragile ones. Yeah. Yeah, I not see no rays on these. I'm, I'm guessing eastern pearl shell, but the way it is with these clams, they're, they're, they can be difficult to uh, identify. But oh, the little piece here kind of gives it away for me too. I'm pretty sure these are eastern. I'm not sure about that one. Oh, let me see. From here. Oh, let me see. Um, huh? I see no rays. Like, you know, just. No rays. Same thing. You see, I see the little hinge here. Yeah, probably uh, eastern pearl shell, but. I think that's pretty good buddy, I, I think that's enough, we'll leave the rest there. But we got like a lot of different sizes and... Water? Uh, yeah, don't go right there, the water been going back and forth. Well I suppose that, uh, with that machine it still should be good, but just go down to line the side there a little bit I guess. We're gonna have our boil up just alongside of the, the brook here. Liam's getting some firewood. And today, we've got corn rounders on the menu with toast spread. How'd that sound? Great! I was wondering why you bring the bread knife. It's kind of hard again, son. And yeah, it's not easy. It takes a little bit of practice. Don't have no rocks around there. Someone might take notice too, but we had a lot of rain last few days. Uh, and we'll make sure everything is dealt it very well before we leave. I guarantee you that. Yeah. Well, kind of tipping a bit. I mean, not right balance, but uh, never used a scotch bowl in a while, so I figured I'd take it out and use it today. Now, right here, I got the the corn rounders. A rounder, I mentioned before, is a fish that got the center. Don't have the sound bone removed and now actually this fish here i cleaned it i was going to prep it to stew but uh, i knew it was coming down to boil up so i sprinkled some salt over it and uh, corn them for today the and uh when you put a rounder at all it takes a little longer to cure where you got skin on both sides more so than a split fish now get that down there I'm gonna lose some water there. The bull's tipping a bit one side, look. Huh? Alright, yeah, I see the water level going down, so it's going up in them. I'm drinking from it. Okay, how oh, cool. First time using these life straw. Alright, you got the mug? <laughs> I gotta go get our kettle on. We need some tea, huh? Yeah. Using a small kettle, a little spoose twig in there now. Yeah. That line your strides. He's coming. Bit by bit. You get way to go, bud. I'm cutting up in some smaller pieces now at once. skin off. Let that go back to nature. Just look at that beautiful codfish right there. Look at that. Oh. Toast bread, corn rounder. And then tell me how that is. Oh, God bless it. Now, where's it going to lodge your plate to so you won't tip over? Mm. Yeah. Hand? Okay. <laughs> and like I said, I'll, I'll take the skin off of the other piece after. Dad's gonna toast some bread for you. You wanna know if the bread toasted first or are you good? I'm good. It's a bit smoky around this area, so, so I'm gonna get mine and go over and join in there now. And he likes his tea nice and cold, so I'll let it cool down a bit more for him. Now do the other side. 
nice tea with a little bit of a twig of a spruce tree in there for vitamin C and flavor. Careful if I don't knock it over. It's pretty sturdy there though, is it? Yeah. I think you got it pretty good there, yeah. Tell me how the tea is. <laughs> mm. Mm. It is really good. Just look at that piece of fish there. Nothing left there now but a but a memory. And who knows, we might come back another time and boil up in this uh, same place again. Hey bear, hey bear. You always make a noise. That way if there's a bear coming in close, uh, you know, let know that you're here kind of thing. Now, let's go look for another perfect. There you go. Look at the prairie berries too, bud. Mm. That's the prairie berries, yeah?